guys so welcome back to my channel I to be here and actually add on YouTube so in today's video I'm bringing you a haul from March and April 2021 unfortunately none of the audio from all of my clips were saved or they didn't I guess my mic wasn't working and I didn't notice so I'm gonna have to voice over this whole haul which is gonna be so so fun so before I start make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave and turn on the bell to be notified every single time I upload so this first order is from Lily Blossom Designs UK Um, I have lots of freebies I think it was during a sale so I'm showing you guys this one is in gold so I would not be using that or keeping it because that is not what my foil choice um this one is in silver so i did intend on keeping that and then this one is in rose gold which i do intend on keeping there's some like um other shops like um grab bags that's another gold thing so i won't be keeping that and i was just showing you the other like samplers i got from other shops so that one's also foiled in like silver um, there's like character stickers unfortunately I cannot see the names of the shops and I was talking about them which is why it's taking so long so this is gonna be a fun haul and then these are some boxes that kind of remind me of Planet Kate stuff but the shop was called like Katie's company or something like that which was quite close so um, the first thing I got was this foil bundle in a sparkly pink hollow which is one of my favorite fun foils Um, so you get a like sparkly confetti overlay and then the bow bottom washi overlay these are both full length then you get date dots some corners and some like deco pieces in a weekend manner and you just the color is just so beautiful and it's on a matte clear paper then you get some foiled scripts I really like the size of these scripts some just um kiss cut icons then you get two pages, I believe, of, or you get um, one page of these overlays and then another page of these overlays, which will be used as underlays, and then you get some glitter header overlays. So that was the foil bundle. Then I got this, um, like, Cinderella Easter kit, and I chose to get in a silver foil and I also got in premium matte which is new to her shop so I was excited about that and I kind of got the almost version of the kit that I could get so I like that it was all pre foiled you could choose a different skin tone but I chose to stick with Cinderella's actual skin tone for this kit and there was an extra box in it that I used that was of a different skin tone so you get your nine full boxes then you get the tenth one which is the alternative skin tone and then bomb washi and then date covers so I was going to show you that that was the darker skin version of that girl in my opinion it's not that much darker but you know it's okay then we get a page of boxes and then you've got some pre foiled glitter headers two weekend um two habit trackers two weekly boxes some um, labels some washi strips and then some layering things and a weekend banner and then this is a page of deco and then the full double box scene and then some more sidebar stuff okay and then this is more boxes you get this is like the extra bit from the full kit and then you get another set of date covers and some headers which I do not ever use and then another page of kind of like layering boxes so these boxes are not really the full width and then some extra bottom washi options and I thought those were three like extra full boxes but they are not they are all cut into washi strips which they would have been really good if there were extra full boxes I would think that would have made more sense but yeah so that was what I got from Lily Blossom Designs. This is a UK shop and as usual all the shops will be linked down below. So the next order was my March, I think, um, magic box or magic mailer from Creativity and in Ink. And as you can see this one was themed as um, Tangled or Rapunzel. So I don't even know what order I started with. 
I think this was my first one probably yeah it probably was my first one so I'm getting everything out and I'll talk at the rich with you fun 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 so first we got this notepad with like the two lanterns and it's like it's not sticky note it's just a notepad and then you get these two pins of Rapunzel and the guy I don't know what he's called in Rapunzel or Tangled so you get two of these like pins if it wants to focus then you get this washi cutter which is like half of a sun and it's pink which is so cute and we get these purple like um, mouse head decos which were really cute to use I was struggling to peel it off but I got there in the end these are not kiss cut, they're like a circle around them. And then this is the kit. So you get seven full boxes and they are folded in gold. So you know how I felt about that, but it's okay since it was for my fun planner anyways. So you get seven full boxes, which is not enough to be honest. And then you get a weekly box and a um, heart checklist. But I did make it work because I know that not all the people that get the magic mailers use plan the way I do it, which is why I should only put seven full boxes and it fills it with other functional stuff. Then we get a page of boxes and some like character deco at the top. Which, if you know me, these boxes are not enough for me, but I made it work also. But I did like this, and these, um, this kit is on like this premium paper, the buttery one, which I really enjoyed. I think I was saying that those boxes looked like there was no nothing there, but they actually was. And then the third and last page had some icons, some mouse heads, a few extra boxes and some sidebar stuff and the date covers. So in my opinion, there are way too many heart checklists. I think that's what I was saying, where I could have had extra boxes there instead. And all of these headers, I wouldn't use any of them. And there's no bottom washi, but there does come, the kit does usually come with some sort of washi. So that's okay. And that's the journaling card that comes with every... Well, all the ones I've got came with the German card. And then now for the rolls. I think I did roll them out. So we've got one. This is a lantern theme. Like a sparkly gold hollow sort of colour. And then this one is like in a pink sparkly hollow. This, these are frame boxes. And I really love those. And then we get two thin washies. Which have silver hollow which i feel like the rest of the kit should have been and you get a purple one and a orange one and then you get these um like header overlays in a row um in a gold hollow and then you get these ones in a pink one but these i don't believe are were not um perforated perforated that's what it's called were they I don't think they were. Yeah, I was looking for the perforation mark where they wasn't. Which is a shame. But I'll still use them, but still. Yeah, it would have been easier. So I had pulled them all out. So those are all the swatches. And as you can see, I kind of used the lantern, the gold lantern words and like double them up to see them as a bougie box which I ended up using in my fun planner as an extra box where there wasn't a full box and it worked out well so yeah that was my order from creativity and ink hopefully I stopped talking soon yeah let's see Okay, on to the next one. So the next order was from um, Fox and Pip. And this was an exciting order for me because I had custom stickers in it because I won one of her um, giveaways. So first I got this um, A charm for my planner since my name begins with the letter A. So it's like clear and it's got like sparkly kids on it and I want to put it on my planner. 
Then I got um, the Build Your Squad and I got the male adult number six to represent my husband. None of them really look like him. Well, and I, I guess the ones with the beard I didn't like or something, but this was the closest one. And then I got um, Friend 8 for me, just the leggings hoodie, which is me always. But the hair wasn't like mine, but it's fine. And then I got the unique one, which is in the same outfit, but it's got afro, which is more like me, but not really. So I got both of those as options. Um, this was the thank you freebie. So I ordered the rest of them and the customers were f uh, my, part of the giveaway but I made an order just to make it easier to ship since I am here in the UK. So this is the custom which I love so much. So it's me and my husband in bed. I have planner, my planner and like there's a stickers on a bed and he has his controller. Because usually when he's like playing games I'm on the bed like playing my stickers. And he's wearing a hoodie that says born evil which is his brand and i'm wearing like a stripy um white top and some leggings which is usually what i'm wearing and i love how she tried to make our hairs look as close to our, as, to our hair as possible so i got it in two sizes and i got these paper clips which um i know i didn't order i think they were accidentally put in my order then i got these girls sitting with her laptop and some snacks to note me like binge watching stuff and then this couple binge watching stickers the tv and chill ones to note me and my husband i got the google classroom one because you know i use it a lot now for school or for work and then i got this car maintenance sheet which has getting petrol washing your car and just a car or bow then i got this lesson planned sheet which i love so much because every time i would note lesson planning i would use planning scripts and i'd forget what i marked it for then i got this podcast one just to know voiceovers i got some mini happy um sheets mini happy sheets and then i got the foot pop girl and boy one to look like me and my husband then i got this grocery delivery one for when i ordered groceries which i don't do as much anymore but yeah that was my order from fox and Pip. The next shop is a UK shop called Fantasy Design Store. So I ordered just one kit um, for my fan planner. Um, I'm showing you that this was like a freebie showing that the new premium matte paper, which I am super duper excited for because I love premium matte. So next time I order from their shop, I will be definitely getting more things that I kind of skipped on before because I wasn't really a fan of just the normal matte paper. So this was the freebie that came with the kit, which goes really well with the kit that I bought, I was saying. So I definitely did use the extra boxes and I cut off the like the watching script to make boxes too. So this kit um was a like an Easter Princess kit. I don't remember the actual name of it. Maybe it was called Easter Princesses. Yeah. Easter Princess Party. So this was my Easter kit for my fan planner because I tried to have pop culture -y things and decent things in that planner so i was looking for something easter and pop culture -y and this was the perfect um blend so those were the full boxes this is the functional page the boxes page the heart checklist page and the bottom washi and then we've got all those boxes there this was the deluxe kit so it also came with the date covers and date dots the glitter headers the deco sheet and then these word headers that i never use and that was my order from Fantasy Design Store. So it was a really quick order because I just needed this kit for my fan planner. So the next shop I ordered from was Strawberry Lamb Designs. I believe this was a sale. I'm not sure if it was, but I think it was. So this was the journaling card. So it was a double-sided journaling card. Yeah, it was at sale. I think I ordered really early. So I got the grab bag of all these different um, shop freebies. So I'm going to quickly flip through them. I can't really see the names that well. So, um, I'm just going to let you see it. I didn't think I kept most of them. I think I kept the um, script ones and kind of de-stashed the rest. So, it definitely was a soul because I have a whole kit as a freebie and I used this kit in a plan with me. This was the pink planner sale. Um, I wish, the only thing I wish was the freebie came in premium map. But obviously it's a freebie so... I wasn't surprised so this was the mini kits that came as a freebie because I hit all of the milestones so 
let's go. So I have these alternative skin toned gels. Um, the colours look much better on camera, but they were really dull because of the paper. These are the four boxes. So I don't remember what I was talking about. I think I was talking about the paper or something like that. If you can see my hands moving. These are the date covers. You can really see how dull it looks because they're pastel colours. Um, so we get one strip of bottom washi and then um, boxes. We've got some uh, a few little things and sidebar stuff. And then we've got glitter headers, which I'm happy about. And these are like, short washi strips. So that was the freebie kit. Then for the order, everything I got was in premium matte, as I said before. So I got these two doodles. One was of ice cream and the other one was of like a Chinese takeaway. Um, I think she was int she's introducing new doodles to the shop, so this was the first one. And I was talking about how her premium matte paper has like a powdery feel and it feels like your hands are dirty. Um, that's what my hands are rubbing together. So let me know if you experience that when you have some premium mats because i do a certain shops premium mats for that that but not all but yeah it's a bit weird but i still like how premium mats feel in general more than a um, regular mat so the first kit was called sunrise and this colorway is beautiful as of currently i have already used this kit and i loved it so these are the 8-4 boxes. I love this girl. That girl sold it for me. Her hair was just like mine and she just looks so beautiful. I love that double box scene. And yeah. The UK summer is not like this. So I'm just having my dream summer in my planner. These are the functional pages. This page is amazing with all the different boxes. We've got a box, one washi and like washi strips. Um, heart checklist which I never use. And then the glitter headers are included in the kit now, and then all the little things without icons, date covers, boxes, and all the deco. And then this extra page with two extra boxes, and then some more boxes and icons. And that was the full kit, or is there another page? I don't know, let's see. I think the paper's just thick, so it made me feel like there was more than one. So the next kit is called Beach Day, and this is up by Kitten Scale Jess. I was saying, I don't know if I said it here, but I have the same artwork in a monthly kit from Planner Face, and I was saying how um, Strawberry Lamb Designs kits are always really pastel, and I don't know if it's the printing quality or just the colour she chooses, but, like, it's really pastel and pale in comparison. And, like, even the black girl, like, her melanin is just, it looks really greyish. And I wasn't really happy about that, but you know, it is what it is. And I think I do show it to you either now or when I do my planner face haul. But it's the same format, so I didn't really need to talk for it. And yeah, other than that, I do like this kit. I haven't used it yet. But yes, it is in my summer lineup. And I do really love this artwork. I have used the monthly kit though from planner face, which I'll show you later. Then I got this May uh, monthly because I like this one better than the planner face monthly for May because most of my monthlies are from planner face. I don't really like the layout of Strawberry Lamb Designs um, monthly kits though, but this was like the Moon Prism or the Moon Prism artwork, and I love this fashion girl. So yeah, but a lot of um, this kit was unused just because it's just not in my style. And then the last kit I got is called Caffeine Queen. And I really like the tones. And I like that fashion girl with the afro that I'm pointing out. I just loved her. And she kind of sold it for me. And this gave me like really four vibes. And I just love these tones. I love the greens, the yellows, the nudes. I'm not really a yellow person. But just this, this colour scheme was amazing. I love this bottom washy, bottom washy pattern as well. And uh, the page I never use. And yeah, you can see the colours really here. It's really great. So that was all that I got from Strawberry and Lamb Designs. Um, I'm pretty sure the alternative skin tone girls were included in the kit, if I'm not mistaken. So the next order is from Planner Face. So at this point, this was when she had switched to her new vinyl, which she is now not done it any, not doing anymore. But at the the point of um filming this she had so this was like the freebie of showing the paper upgrade which was gradually going to 
to make all of her kits in but that didn't work out because of just cutting issues but yeah so I did enjoy that paper but I'm still a fan of her premium mat so this was the first time I had to get a normal mat um thing not thing she um sticker kit from planner face because at this point there was no upgrade and if it was already printed you would just get the matte version so this was the April monthly so I could tell a big difference in the quality so this was the peachy artwork which I think I got in the weekly kit as well and that was for the monthly and then this June monthly kit was in the same artwork as I was saying the strawberry land designs kit was I think this is where I show you the color comparison and this was in the new um, final paper so it was even more vibrant but her um, premium matte paper is really vibrant regardless. So yeah, I think I'm trying to find the kit, which is why there's like that big gap. So yeah, as you can see, the colors are so much more vibrant in the planner face kit. And this is a summer kit, so I didn't expect it to be so pastel anyways. And like, look at the black girl, look, it's the same girl and look how gray she looks in the shrubby lime design kit and how um, rich her menolin is in the planner face kit, which is how I went um, a girl who looks like me to be represented um, I really do like the format of shrubbing land design kits but I think the colouring is something that puts me off a lot so I was showing you the new icons that um, Planner Face had brought into her monthly kits which I do love I forgot to use them though when I was actually planning but yeah so there's more of the new um, doodle icons which I really do love so much I always get my Monday start strip uh, yeah, this fashion girl is just everything. I wish I got the weekly kit from her as well. That was a regret of mine. But, you know, it is what it is. So this kit is also in just a regular map because it had been, it was an older kit and the premium map upgrade wasn't available due to the change of paper. This is the Fleur kit. So I have used this as well. So it wasn't that bad to use. So... Planner Face always gives you the alternative skin tone girls as a freebie. And this is her format, which I don't really need to talk through because in most of my hauls I have at least one Planner Face um, um, sticker kit. It's all the same. I just can't wait for all shops to get rid of a whole, their whole um, checklist page because, you know, I don't see anyone that really uses it. And like, where's get the glitter head add on? And then the last kit, I think, is called, what is it called? Um, coffee Shop. And this was in the new vinyl page. So these two boxes of Fashion Girls were both free, which is amazing. And I was just showing you which alternative skin tones options I would use. And here is the kit. I was feeling the paper and saying how much I love it. And I'm a bit out of frame, so sorry. But yeah, the format is exactly the same. There was no format change. It was just the paper change, but the paper's going back to normal. So I always get the normal premium matte upgrade, which I really love. And it's really buttery smooth. And that was my order from Planaface. Let's see what's next. This is going to be a long haul. Okay, so the next orders are from my US box. It's so annoying that there was no audio because, yeah, it's just so annoying that there was no audio. So this is um, a really old order from um, Perfect Print. Oh my goodness. Print Pression, I couldn't think of the name. So these were the freebies. I think these were two different orders. I got this navy blue switch case which is for the switch light and I don't have the switch light because I was in a rush I didn't actually realize it was for the switch light but it still fits my actual switch without the joy cons on it so it's fine then I got some of I got this um, B6 um, coil case so I got it in the dusty rose which I love so much unfortunately I couldn't get the snap closure one so I had to get the rings one but it's still beautiful and it still fits my um, Tilly Journals B6 Coil Planner perfectly. So here it is. There's all the pockets and stuff. I don't remember what I was saying. I was just showing you all the compartments. 
and how much I love it. I might have been holding it upside down, but who knows. But yeah, so that was the first thing I got from Punk Pressure. Then I got a B6TN cover. If I show it to you. I think I was putting it back in the case. Yeah, so I got a B6TN in... What is this? I think it was Moroccan clay. Which was a really nice colour. I think I am holding them all upside down. And then I also got a um, Print Impressions B6 uh, weekly for my like pen to paper daily planning. Which has been working really well for me. But then the daily was actually. So I'm definitely going to continue using that until I find something better. Or a cheaper alternative. Because it's easier to get something from like a UK shop than a US one. So I just got the black cover just because it was nice and simple. Um, I think I do show you what it looks like. So it's got a monthly section. And then it's got the weekly section. I think this is enough for a year. And I started this in June. So I guess next like Mayish, I'll be buying a new one. And then I got the A5 wide case as well in the grey colour way and that one was a snap one so I was happy about that and I also got um, an A5 wide um, repositionable cover as well so this is for my fun planner because I have one for my um, main planner already this is for my fun planner there was a bit of dirt on it but because you're such a light colour it was like inevitable I love the pen loop because in my fun plan I actually do use pens which I don't in my regular planner so it was good that that was there it was nothing special it's just a case to keep it protected and then this was the cover which I loved because of the girls on it of course I think it was called together or something like that uh, both covers have the same picture on it and yeah I was saying that I love artwork, this kind of artwork with that faces on it um, next order is from 71 Sticker Co, where I buy all my like um, pop culture stickers and kits and all of that good stuff, which I recently found and have made loads of orders on. So the first um, stickers I got were these Superman ones for the new CW Superman show. And then I got these Loki stickers for Loki. Spider-Man, because those are the Marvel stickers, they don't have that many spider-man stickers on it so i wanted to get the spider-man ones and then i got um i think this was the avengers civil war or i don't know which one it was but it was an avengers movie sheet just to get more of the characters i got the um hawkeye sheet i guess is that what you called and then this is black lightning For when I start watching that again I stopped watching it but I want to get back to it and then I got an X-Men one because I want to do the X-Men binge too this was a freebie of Drew and I think there was like a note at the back but I don't know if I show it to you so then I also got this X-Men kit and I added on these um, four boxes with the characters on it Yes, yeah, so good. I zoomed up so with all the X Men characters on it, or a lot of them on it. And these are more of like the comic characters rather than the ones that were in the film. And then I noticed the thank you note at the back of the freebie. And then that was the rest of the kit. So we got a date covers, a weekend banner. I think I bought each page a la carte. And the bottom washi, and the functional boxes. And then this page was accidentally sent to me because I instead of getting the these boxes I chose to get the character ones but I think they just sent me that one which I don't mind I don't think I use them though but yeah this next shop is paper candy art so the first coat I got is called lucid dreams so I always get premium matte paper with paper candy art so I really love the aesthetics of this kit I had no real reason of getting it other than I just really like how the aesthetic and the vibes it was giving me and the colors and stuff so here is the paper candy art format 
Um, this is not the first time I've hauled a paper candy, paper candy art kit, so I'm just gonna like flip through it. It's come, becoming like one of my favourites. The only thing that um, stops me from buying so much from there is the fact you know it's international, so shipping is a little bit slower. And then let's say planner phase, which is in the UK. But yeah, definitely love the format. I always get mini kits, and they usually are enough with me just having to pull in a few boxes. I think I was talking about all the alternative skin tone options that I bought and how I didn't really need to because they were kind of already in the kit but it's okay. I always get the mini kit add-on mini kit add-on page which I'll show you as it comes which is this page with the little things which I love so much and then I also get the glitter header add-ons and deco add-on since they don't come in the kit but the price works out anyways. So this is a glitter header add-on. And then I also get um, the Fashion Girl add-on. Which I kind of didn't really need to get. And then a Deco add-on. So that was the first kit from Paper Candy Art. The second kit was this foodie kit. Um, Kitness Girl Jess Art. I love this art so much. I really still don't know when I'm going to use it. But it's... it's, it's it's ready I thought the foil that I'm gonna use and everything ready whenever I have like a week of just binging food which is probably like a PMS week most likely but yeah I just love this kit so much oh, I love the bottom washi options as well oh my belly's rumbling sorry um yeah this is the paper candy art format I love this page my favorite page these two are my lot those those two are my favorite pages and then I also got the Fashion Girl add-ons as a, I think those were a freebie. And then I also got the Deco add-on. I paid for that. And the Fashion Girl add-on was a freebie. These ones were a freebie. And you can choose the skin tone. And then I got these four boxes for a kit that I bought from Pink Diamond Planner Co. Because I liked the options that um, Paper Candy Art had rather than the ones that Pink Diamond Planner Co. had. So I'm going to show you it with the kit in a second because that's the next kit I will show or well, next shop I'm going to show so the next shop as I just said is Pink Diamond Planico which is a black owned shop in the US so um, this moon prism I don't remember what it's called in paper candy art I think it's called moon prism though in Pink Diamond Planico so I was showing you why I was getting the full box option because of I don't know what girl I think it was the girl with the back the back of the head girl is the reason I got the full box the extra full boxes and I was saying how the, that girl's skin tone looks better I was comparing the papers because they're both premium matte and they pretty much feel the same and I was just saying I would use that girl rather than the one in the kit but yeah so this is the paper candy um paper pink diamond planner coat the names are so confusing um I think this was a full kit Let's see, it comes with glitter headers. It still has icons in the kit. No, this is a mini kit, I think. I actually don't know if it was a mini kit or a full kit. But either way, this is the format I got. And I got the 50mm and then the um, label add on. So this was a mini kit then, since I got the label add on. And this is a freebie that comes in the kit. I was saying I wanted to use one of those girls that's why I got the add-on this was the longest voiceover I've ever done in my life and I'm sure you'll be able to tell by the way I'm not making much sense in my speaking so I apologize but I still wanted to get this haul out for you I didn't want to kind of not post it because yeah some of these things I'm not using for a while, so I wanted to show you them. So this is the first share kit from um, the same shop, obviously, and it's an exclusive art work from Darcy. I love her art so much. So this is amazing. I got a bunch of whole bunch of Harry Potter kits because the month of June in my fan planner was a whole Harry Potter month, and I've been watching Harry Potter this month. I didn't get to finish all of them, of course. But I watched as much as I could and this kit is amazing and that red 
and yellow. Oh, beautiful. Um, what house, Harry Potter house are you? I did a test and found out I was a Ravenclaw. Um, I always thought I was going to be, um, I don't remember. I just didn't think I would be Ravenclaw, but I was, and I did the test twice. So I'm okay with that. But yeah, what um, house do you belong to? What have you done the quiz? Um, I then bought some foil bundles because she started bringing up the four foil bundles rather than the smaller ones she had before. This was a freebie. It says, I love you to the moon and back. And then the other one, I don't know what it says. That one is in a rose gold foil. This one's in a gold foil. It says glitter. Um, I don't know what it said. The rose gold one, I'm definitely going to keep because I love myself some rose gold. The gold one, I don't have any more. It says glitter is always an option in gold. I don't really like glitter, so, you know, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, so then I got these um, Harry Potter girls in the girl of my skin tone. And she had blue hair, which was perfect because I was a, I belonged to the Ravenclaw house. So it worked. I got these work scripts in silver. I don't know why I only got silver. So the first foil bundle I got was in um, this pink foil. Um, um, I think this was like the normal format. And those are the four box page. We've got glitter headers and butter washi and date dots. And we got this four page of uh, icons and food doodles and all of that good stuff. Then we got our scripts on our circle icons. And like her scripts were made smaller. Then we got two pages of bougie which I love to see and that was the foil bundle the first one so this was kind of like her regular format let's say um, the next one was like a love heart format which was in a pink hollow one of my favorite foil colors so you get one page of these um, four box overlays so you only get eight so if you have more four boxes you're gonna kind of have to bring in some other things we got our date covers have love hearts on it and our bottom washi I think I said date covers, but I meant um, head overlays, and then we've got our date dots as well. I'm sorry for the jump. I had to stop filming and refilm because I was talking to my husband. Um, next page is the icons page again. This pink hollow is amazing. I love pink hollow and sparkly rose gold. Those are my favorite foil colors ever. Um, scripts and icons, circle icons, the beauty boxes. That page looks beautiful with all that holographic goodness. Um, the next bundle was like an Easter bundle and I got it in this lime green to go with my um, Disney princess um, Disney um, Easter princess bundle I mean kit so here we go it's in a holographic green I love the bottom washi overlays the icons the scripts and the underlays I don't even remember if I used using it let's let's check in my planner while i'm here i want to see what it looked like oh did i not use it the next shop is called bum bum um planner co paper co well i can't find it Oh, yeah, I did use it. It's called um, not Bam Bam, Ban Ban Paper Go. Um, I got Ilza's freebie because I just love Ilza. Um, so I just mentioned her name in the um, Lux Zella to get her freebie. Uh, I do like this shop, I like the underlays, the different foil colors. She has lots of different foil um, color options, which I love. Um, something that would make the shop better is premium matte paper, which is usually the case for like the icons and stuff. But other than that, I really love this shop. And her turnaround time was so super duper quick. Even though it, I got the package late because it was in the US. It was shipped the day I ordered and arrived the next day in my US box. So that was amazing. Because like UK shops don't even ship that fast. So yeah. So I think I got a grab bag of Misfits as well. Which is somewhere in this. But this was the Happy Mail mailers that I got in like the mini sheet. And then got these Netflix TVs, Disney Plus TVs, and then these were from the grab bag. So these are butterfly header overlays in like a gold foil. 
I wish they were in a different colour, but it's okay. Yeah, these are header overlays. Then I got these pink um, aeroplanes. They were also part of the like grab bag. Oh, the grab bag wasn't even open. So I think the butterfly was were free because I got full box and a bottom washi underlays as well in the same pattern. So these aeroplanes in pink foil, which I won't be using for a while since I'm not traveling. This film edit upload stickers, which I do use a lot actually in my fan planner. Uh, these ones say. I don't know what they say because I'm moving it so fast but those were scripts that I don't think I used so the first underlays were these um, Harry Potter inspired underlays and I got these in the blue foil to match the Ravenclaw house I am in Um, I got two sheets of those I don't remember what the pattern is called I think it's called first year or something like that so there we go and this lovely blue foil Then I got this like um, retro design, I think it was called, in this teal colour. And I got eight of them for two um, like 90s themed kits that I have. And I thought it would match them perfectly. And the teal colour was just perfect. It just gave me those throwback vibes. So I'm excited to use these. I haven't used them as of yet. Then I got these Definitely Hollow sign um, underlays. And I just got them in black because I felt like that would be the best i have used these and i used like um normal confetti under it to fill in the space then i got these moon prism ones in I like this purple color for my moon prism kit that i showed you earlier on in it this i've used that one already and it matched so beautifully in my fun panel then got these lunar glasses ones in the teal color to go with a lunar kit that i got and then got this nine these King Cross station platform stickers underlays in a black as well. And then this was another one of the freebies, and these were the bottom washi in the same butterfly design. And it's kind of like in a light gold, it seems. So that was all I got from Ban Bum Paper Co. I don't know why I keep saying Bum Bum, but I know another person said that in a haul, and I think that's kind of why I'm doing it too. The next shop is capital chic designs and it was kind of like a subscription sort of thing which we knew that was going to be a different world themed but we hadn't seen the kit and just by telling me it was a different world themed alone i was already ready i was sold because i love a different world so much and i was like whatever the kit looks like i want it this die cut alone was enough for me i think this is like the sneak like i love it i think i was naming all of the characters but yeah I can't, I'm going to use this kit when I rewatch it again. I just love this kit so much. It's so amazing. And they all look like the characters. Like Dwayne's character looks just like him. And so does Ron's. So these are the, this is the kit. I'll show you the four boxes first. Um, it's on like a vinyl-ish paper. So we've got two double box scenes of um, Whitley's wedding that Dwayne interrupted. Then we've got um, some couple boxes we've got Denise and we've got the Hillman house or the Hillman school um for books so I was just talking about the characters and how um I didn't know if the one at the top was meant to be Whitley or Denise because it could pass for both because Denise at one point had her hair like that and in the start of the series of course Dwayne was trying to get with Denise and then when she had to leave because she was pregnant with Zoe Kravitz if Whitley was the main character Okay, so then we've got these bottom watchy and we've got some fashion girls. So I feel like I should use this kit in September for back to school. But we shall see what happens. But those dolls are beautiful. Then we've got dirt covers and deck dots and um, some extra boxes and some deco. And I was saying, I don't think, yeah, I was saying that I definitely need to bring in some extra boxes because obviously there isn't that many, but I'm okay with it because the artwork is beautiful. The next shop is Rose Shadow Collection and I was searching for a kit that um, was supposed to have been sent and it wasn't there that I had ordered a while ago and it didn't come and I was told it was going to be sent with this order and it didn't come with this order then I had to get a refund but I was told it was still going to be sent to me and still to know I don't have that kit and that was one of the 90s kits that I wanted and it's no longer 
available in the shop so even though i got a refund to even re like buy it again i couldn't and i really really wanted the i didn't even want my money back i wanted the kit but yeah you know that's life so this is a sun kiss kit it's in the gold foil unfortunately but you know i like the artwork and then i got this um ramadan kit which is the kit i use for the week of eid so you know the four boxes um it's also gold foiled you know what can i do eh um i was like talking through the like, elements of the four boxes but i can't really remember i always get an extra page of the boxes because i need all the boxes i can get so that was the extra page i bought um the very shadow collection format is not really the best format for me just because of the way i plan but i still enjoyed the kits nevertheless because there wasn't that many ramadan kits out there and she does do a lot of like black girl fashion boxes which i love so the next order is from perfect prince co from a tbc order i don't know what month it was my only issue with um perfect prince co is that her shipping is really really long like by the time the next TP cell, TPC cell came, my things hadn't even been shipped yet. That's how long it was. And that it hadn't even arrived in my US box, let alone to me. So, yeah. That's something that stops me from purchasing from her shop. She does have, she has um, improved her paper. So, her paper is now a premium matte. So, these were all from her vault of, like, TPC um, exclusive kits, which is why I shopped this month. So, first was this Disney kit. Um, the quote box says a dream is a wish your heart makes and it's got all the princesses or most of them from the back this art which is from Ali who used to do lots of plan with me but she doesn't anymore which is quite sad but I know she's very busy so this is the four boxes and then there's got washi strips this is like the functional page um, more boxes and this page and then her sticker sheets are different sizes in the kit, which straight is weird to me. We've got um, little things and our glitter headers, uh, weekly boxes, and the bottom washi, which I feel like it, that surprised me that this was the colour of the bottom washi compared to the rest of the kit. But yeah, the next kit was um, Alice in the Wonderland themed. So you don't see the um, actual kits, you just see the kind of like a... A screenshot of like the theme but I knew it was Alice in the Wonderland from the screenshot so um, these four boxes are re all drawn by Ali again and um, the same format just different colorways of course and the pages are still not the same size I never understood that like when I was like putting it away it was really weird to me out some of them are skinny some of them are shorter it just didn't make sense to me but I had to buy it for the artwork. And then the next kit was a T Princess Tiana kit, which I love. Every Princess Tiana kit I see, I need to buy it. Because, well, unless it's a photo kit, because I don't like photo kits. But if it's like artwork and it's Princess Tiana, I need to get it because she is the only black princess. And, you know, this kit doesn't even have her as a human, it has her as a frog. So I was a bit upset by that, but, you know. It's still Princess Tiana themed at the end of the day. In most of the movie, she is a frog. So, you know, I, I'm not, you know, too fast, but still. This is the bottom washi of the lily pads. And, yeah, this kit is very green, which is expected. And then I've got this B6 kit, which is a cherry blossom kit. Just to try out her B6 kits in my B6 planner, which I have neglected for the last three months which is why you haven't seen videos in it but you know it's fine um and then these are like the deco freebie sheets that go with the alice kit because oh so this was the february tbc kit and i got it in like the end of the beginning of april so let's just see how long it that that shows how long that took um the next shop is from tbc nation and i got this mask the um lettering is by ali as well so i got these two born evil masks um for my husband and his business partner because his brand is called born evil and then i got the be kind of mask for myself and then i got these albums that um i sold at the tbc nation shop 
but they are from by Perfect Prints Co. And then it's got the artwork that I got in the kits. So these are five by seven. So they're like basically the size of the planner. And uh, I'm using this. Uh, one of them is going to be for what well, is for my leftover kit leftovers, which I organise by colour now. And the other one is for like um, my overlay tape. So I get a whole week set of overlay tapes laid out, headers underlays all the good stuff is all laid out in that book by color so that i can like go to that before having to go to my tapes and so i can kind of see what i have in one flip and so far it's been working out in my favor and making life a little bit easier um and i did have fun putting it all like going through all my tapes and reorganizing my drawers and laying them all down but yeah that was what i got from tpc nation um, the next order is from SBC. This was the, let's say, March mystery kit. Yeah, it should be March. And then this was that the Disney princess inspired tea party set. And, this, and it had holographic foil. So um, these were the four boxes. I think I spoke about the elements in it that were Disney. But I don't remember what I was saying I'm pointing at the dog. I know that I was saying that I don't really use dogs in my planner. I think I did use that dog because I needed the extra four box, but yeah. And I was talking about all the different princesses that were shown in it, and that one's like Rapunzel. This one was Sleeping Beauty. Uh, this is Decker Page. I'm sure you know what SBC layout is by now because you know everyone uses it. I love the pattern in this kit, I was saying, it was so subtle. And this bottom one is beautiful. We've got judo icons that were Disney for the kit, and then Tiana and Ariel, and then the extra colour, and the label sampler. We've got more alternative skin tone options, some boxes, and a 50mm washi. This kit has so many full boxes, you can definitely use it more than once. And this was the Foya bundle, it was a um, simple bow format in a holographic foil so we get two of these pages and two pages of bougie one page of headers and bolt mushy and date dots and then i think i skipped through the icon page by accident but there's a page of icons and scripts um do i have Okay, so this was the um, order from the Honey Bee Shop of the Bay Box. I don't know what month this one was. Let's just say March, since this is a March last April haul. Um, I didn't really open it, but I was just showing you these are all the different papers. Um, they were sidekick themed, so all the Disney Princesses sidekicks is what this theme was. And the holographic foil. We've got some header overlays or... Um, five millimeter washi strips some of them were clear some of them were not i think i do open it and give you a bit of a swatch and i'll show you that they were nikki head mickey heads and holographic foil i think the honeybee shop really does love her, um, holographic foil because a lot of her um babe boxes are holographic foil which i'm not complaining about and one of them was rose gold which i also love so i'm happy with it i haven't had a gold box yet and hopefully i never have to um but I can skip it if that is the case, which is a good thing about her. So yeah, that is like a clear one. I don't know if it's perforated or not. Let's see. It is perforated, which is good. So that's what that looks like. And then the two washi strips. One was black and one was grey. I didn't really need to pull out a swatch. I don't know why I did this. Maybe I wanted to see if they were all perforated. But I'm pretty sure that this oh it is as well so i guess they could be headers and that one i'm assuming will be two since the rest were or was it a washi strip okay all of them are perforated so they're all headers which is amazing you can see i haven't used it since because i just packed them away as soon as i got it um this is a 50 millimeter washi strip um in a mickey head pattern i believe on clear paper on holographic foil this is not perforated so i had to cut it 
but I don't think I cut it, I think I just showed it to you like that. So those are all the washi out of the way. Then got this pen with this gold Mickey head at the top. And it's one of those twisty ones. Um, let's get back, I uh, get this pack of um, die cuts, which I, did I open it? I did, wow. But I think quickly flipped through, there was all these different like sidekicks. Um, you know, with the different skin tones which is why there's so many because there isn't like a skin tone specified subscription it's just you get all of them in them I guess that's easier for packaging this is the card telling you everything that's in the kit it's called tattoo sidekicks and this is the full boxes for the kit of like the fashion full boxes with the different skin tones I didn't open it because the one I, I, was, I am going to use is the one on the front page and then this is a um, jelly keeper which fits her kits and also the cookie sticker co kits as well so that's good to know if you do subscribe to the cookie sticker co subscription and they fit in here perfectly um i think that's what i was talking about um it's got a star holographic sparky holographic design on it gonna show you the kit or what okay now for the um the kit just gonna flip through it quickly the full boxes more full boxes normal boxes date covers icons i love the icons from the honeybee shop um more functional stickers and checklists and this is a hobinuchi page which i don't think i never use obviously and then the dolls like look at tinkerbell and winnie the pooh and dumbo and the the um, fairies from sleeping beauty yeah so that was my um babe box from the honeybee shop uh, next up we have um, Gold Mine and Coco. So this was during her double release and she had the Planner Girls and then she had the Church Girls, the Faith Girls, which I didn't get for obvious reasons. So let's see what I got. So I obviously got this sticker book and some dolls. I think I'm going to show you the dolls first. Put it all packaged together. I haven't ordered from Gold Mine and Coco in like a bit so um i got these girls because they look just like me like this girl's hair was look just like me sitting on the couch planning which is me and another girl she had braids and she had stickers all, all laid out just playing with them me again this girl's got a cup of coffee and a or tea and a planner the hair in a big puff me and then this girl is just perfectly me sitting in bed with her planner and her hair out curling in the side part perfection this girl's got her laptop and her planner open that's me when i'm editing videos like right now i have my planner open i don't know why um this is um peyton pulling stickers for when i have happy more when i'm pulling stickers and then i am going to flip through the kit i don't remember the names of the dolls i think i said it in the video but because the audio is gone i can't remember so i'm just going to flip through this kit this is called the Planner Girl Kit. That is um just looks like Felicia, the owner. The kid looks just like her. I'm sure she in that for that because she's in that drawers for them. She's very talented to be honest. Sometimes I forget that she actually draws all of this and then I get amazed. Like she's really good at her job. Oh, I love these um icons. There's a lot I won't use in this sticker book, but there is a lot I will use. So I can always like do stash it once I have used what I think I'm going to use and give it to someone who will use it. We've got lots of florals, we've got some paintings in there, more of the Felicia girl, some full boxes, and then some functional stuff, bottom mushy. One thing I hate about sticker books, all sticker books have gold 
they never have silver like all of them are always gold and i hate that because i don't like gold and i'm forced to use gold so much because the planner community just loves gold so much but why well, can't silver be the color that everyone loves but yeah that is the sticker book and my order from gold mine on coco i think i do have a referral link down below so use that to get some money off your first purchase my next um order is my cookie sticker co box this is the retro box i think this is the second box so this pen is a beautiful and if you see all the like, underlays i got it would match perfectly with this kit this pen is beautiful the teal color is amazing with the purple um and the silver hardware of course i love it yeah so this is a gel pen as you can see from the top being we got these drip paper clips which are super cute we've got some cookie die cuts we've got cookie bestie and yvette in there we've got these post-it sticky notes and then the kit which i was saying fits in the honeybee shop um jelly keeper so let me open that for you um i feel like this kit would work in any planner format because these four boxes are standard size and there's another page that are like longer four boxes the for you color for this kit is um sparkly holo not sparkly holo just holographic and these are some extra boxes that are longer and then these are hot boxes We've got some more functional boxes here and two weekend banners and then this page is full of functional layering pieces that um super duper nice to use got three sets of date covers it confused me a lot because this started in sunday so i would like start laying them down and realize wait that says sunday not monday these dolls are perfection beauty everything i love it i love that um bestie one with her hair and pigtails then we've got some drip dividers and some like emoticons and that was the kit um the washi do I show you the washi like all out or did I just show them as well I don't remember this was so long ago I guess I'm taking them out I don't think I, I'm gonna unroll them because um that would take forever so I got the mini baby drip add-on so this is the first drip one with the retro design and the purple drip we've got the 50 millimeter and the 10 then we got this teal color with just a drip i think it's got um i think it's just plain teal i love that color so much and this is the purple solid purple with the purple drip um this is oh this is one of my favorites with the retro design the zigzag and teal oh i love that one so much this one's beautiful the next one is the like teal retro design with the purple drip and then we got the baby drip which is like mini versions of all of the ones i showed you so those are like five millimeter ones which could be used for like headers or dividers for all your planning needs so this cute cookie um gentleman card as well I'm almost done next is um rose color days these are two subscriptions i don't remember which one is which this one was like the one that had like the it was called like galaxy planet girl or something like that and it was like sparkly hollow and black hollow which oh my god the black hollow is everything it's just everything black hollow underlay boxes in a star design lauren just nailed it with that one and so sadly the current the june is the last one because she has she's stopping her overlay subscription so i'll show you the black one is underlays and it's star headers and then the sparkly hollow one is like planner supplies in sparkly hollow which can be used as underlay as well the 15 millimeter um the thick washi underlay is in the same pattern the 15 millimeter is just bows and then the header is just bows as well in sparkly hollow I did not open them because at this point I was exhausted and I didn't want this video to be too long. And then the next one was this like more simple one and it was rose gold and gold. And you know, because it was so simple, I kept the gold because it wasn't like 
overwhelming and because I've been forced to use skulls so much and not have any like tapes to go with it because I've like got rid of all the other ones I chose to keep it so we've got the post-it notes which I still never use I'm sure I'll find a use for it later but as of now I haven't used them so we got this simple line border in rose gold and gold and then we got the thick one in just the rose gold and the 50 millimeter in the rose gold and then two headers in rose gold and gold so I was glad that the 50 millimeter and the thick washi one is in rose gold not in the gold and everything else was in rose gold because rose color days rose gold is really nice it is really pinky but it's still rose gold it's not as pink as SBC but it's really close in my opinion I feel like that is like the true rose gold it less coppery um I think this is a journal car that came with one of the TPC orders but I don't know it all got mixed up um the next one is um a magical magical mailer from creativity and ink this one was the um monster ink or monster university one of the films I don't know what film it is but it's the monster ink inspired so we get this bottom washi which was in holographic foil and then everything else yeah so it's all the monsters and the girl in, in the door hopefully you could see it and then we got the kit oh no then we get this mickey head in the sparkly um teal color and then we get the same one in like a lime green color which i think i'm going to show you in a second Yep, the same Mickey head. Um, now for the kit, I guess. Oh, so um, in the kit it had this extra movie marquee, not movie marquee, habit tracker. I'm not sure why, but that was just in the kit. And then we've got seven full boxes, um, a weekly box and a hot chocolate. So I wish there was more full boxes. That's my only complaint. The kit is in a holographic foil colour. I was saying that I wish there was another full box rather than the heart checklist but I know some people do use those and not everyone that gets this a subscription uses the same planner style as me this is the box of pages and like let's say deco and then it, we've got our functionals which I always cut the free art checklist into little things because there's never enough boxes in this kit and I was just comparing the colours to see if they were the same but they weren't so I don't know why that was there but yeah it was there so it was a free it's just a free page kit uh, then we got some extra things I've got so many subscriptions at this point I'm like I'm only getting it because of FOMO because there's always the one time that there's a kit that I really love that's a subscription so I just stay subscribed so I don't miss out even if I don't use it, but I always use the kits for the extra stuff I never use really. So we've got these um, um, Mickey Deco in the green. We've got this uh, Monsters Ink die cut, and then this Monsters Ink card with James Sullivan and Mike. And then this is a journal card that always comes with it. And then this is a um, notebook which came quite bent but it came from the US to the UK because I get the um, my magic mailers ships directly to me so yeah that was creativity in ink am I at the end yet okay we've got a few more shops the next shop is let's let me clean up is Bella Plan Ella so if you don't already know I do PR for Bella Plan Ella so use my code ADIATU15 to get 15% off your order and to get my freebie. I don't know if I show it to you, but yeah. Yeah, I do show it to you. I'm grabbing it. This is my freebie. I love it so much. That fashion girl is amazing. And yeah, Rach did a amazing job. So this is the journey card, double-sided, of course. So um, Rach is like a queen of specialised underdays. So this one is a superhero one. So I got it in the rainbow sparkle foil and I got um eight no sixteen for two um like superhero spreads because you need no I got eight because you need four 
for a spread because there's only four four boxes per sheet and yeah i'm excited to use it for like the marvel kit and i have the marvel version and the dc version i got them both so i could use them both separately for when i finish my marvel marathon and when i start my dc one but yeah then i got these harry potter uh, movie marathon stickers in just the black because i'm currently watching the harry potter series from the start then i got all the customs i love my customs from her so i got snowfall i always request to get them smaller so they can fit better um bones superstore the 100 the resident it's a new show that i'm actually starting from the st from the beginning and um, then i got cool mom in two different fonts for when i call mama and my mother in law and then mum's house plan with me binge in two different three well two different fonts and i got two of that sheet which i don't know why i did that i should have got two of the other font because i like that one better but you know spare of the moment thing and then i got two kits this kit is called i think it's just peachy or something like that yeah this kit is is having a hard time finding a space in my lineup because um the summer kits have been killing it this year and i just keep replacing this kit so i don't know if i'll get to use it this year sadly but it's giving me anytime vibes so i feel like i can use it anytime which is why i'm okay like moving it but yeah i've spoken through her new format so i don't really need to speak through it i guess you can see it i think i was talking through it at the time as well like talking about the um format and how i like this one so much better with all the box options this next kit is called stay cozy another kit that i had no purpose for but i just love the artwork so i just felt like buying it so yeah these probably maybe like winter vibes like january kit yeah so i really do love this new format especially since you don't have the whole page of checklists you get loads of function pages you get the plain sheet and then the um pattern sheet well solid sheet and then the glitter headers are included and decos included and the bottom bottom washi is split all the things i love in my kits yeah and that was my order from um bella pantella um i think this is actually the end of the haul so i hope you guys enjoyed this haul be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you in the next one bye